hello everybody so welcome to my next lecture that is the structure and geometry of carbenes okay so in the first class we have learned about the introductions of the carbenes or rather reactive intermediates where we have learned that what is reactive intermediates what are in general their characteristics and how carbenes as a reactive intermediate behaves and what are their special characteristics among all reactive intermediates from there we have classified that carbenes are two types one is singlet another one is triplet so singlet another one is triplet okay so now we will learn their structure and geometry so today in this lecture we will learn structure and geometry of carbenes already we have started that one this particular things little bit in the last course we will continue that so in case of carbenes as we have already showed you still i would like to draw the same thing here for better understanding okay so let's make different color okay or here sorry So, we can give ok. So, now we will fill up the orbitals ok. So, this is called singlet ok and here this is the sp2 and this one is the p orbital similar here okay so this is called triplet carbene ok this is sigma 1 p pi 1 you can call it because both these electrons they are occupying two different orbitals and here they are occupying in a single orbital ok here they are paired up that is why they are called singlet and if you go through the multiplicity calculation actually that is why their name is singlet and triplet ok. So, in case of singlet this is the both of them has been paired up and in case of triplet these are actually both are unpaired electrons and they are in two different orbitals. So, if you calculate the multi multiplicity then as per that their name comes like singlet and triplet ok and it has been found their structures are bent. So, they are in general bent carbenes ok theoretically or experimentally it has been proved that they are bent in nature. 
Now, is there any linear carbenes? Though they are rarely found or uh, they are in general most carbenes are not linear, most carbenes are not linear, but still we can if it happens how it looks like. Okay. So, in this case we can actually put up these two electrons, you can draw in this way. Okay. In this case we can draw, they are orthogonally situated. So, okay. so, like this way. So, here this is also p orbital, this is the p orbital, okay. these are the pure p orbital, this is also p orbital okay. and here this is linear and this is the sp hybridized carbon atom ok. So, now these two electrons are totally occupying the pure p orbitals, they do not have any s character ok. So, these unpaired electrons here, here the unpaired electrons Okay, have no S character. Okay. So, this is called linear carbene. Okay. So, what we have learned that there are bent carbene as well as linear carbene, even though this is not very much uh, existence, this is not having so much of existence, but still this is the linear carbene's structure and it looks like this. And if you see this is also triplet and can write it like this p pi 1 p pi 1. Okay. So, what we have learned that the electron electronic configurations of these carbenes are having like this. In some case, if it is a bent carbene, they also have singlet as well as triplet, and in case of linear carbene, they have this type of triplet carbenes. Okay. So, next, if we see this bent, triplet, and singlet carbenes, this bent carbenes. In general, as I said that most of these carbenes are bent and that also experimentally and theoretically it has been proved. So, what are their structures and how they are these bond angles behave. Okay. See, they are bent that means, these particular carbenes, let us say we can write like hydrogen here. Okay. And this is having one sp 2 orbital, one p orbital. Okay. So, next we can fill it up like this. Okay. Now, we can give the electrons. So, 
So, this is for triplet. Okay. So, this is for triplet curving. So, we have already drawn this. Now, we will draw again the singlet one. Okay. So, this is the two things. Now, for singlet carbines, it will be like this. Okay. Now, even though they are bent, what will be there? these bond angles that means we calculate this and this the bond angles it has been found for triplet carbines the bond angles are larger so these have larger bond angle and this is having smaller bond angle. Larger bond angle means this is having around 130 to 150 degree and here it is having 100 to 110 degree. Okay. So, triplet carbines are having larger bond angle and the singlet carbines are having smaller bond, bond angle. Now, question is that why it is like this. Okay why the bond angles varies for triplet and singlet. Now, if we see that here for this particular singlet carbines, they are in this sp 2, here it is sp 2 and uh, the, uh, this is this is the as you have seen sp 2 and this is the p here also same this is sp 2 and this is p we have seen this. So, now definitely these number of electrons are actually creating this difference. So, if you see here for singlet there are one pair of electrons, okay. they have paired up. Now, and in this case here there are only one electrons in this sp 2 and another one electron is in p. Now, if we see in this case, the repulsion between these two, here only one ele electron okay. and here there are two electrons. Definitely, here it will be more repulsion than triplet case. So, for singlet case, the repulsion will be higher than the triplet case, and if this repulsion is higher, then automatically here the bond angle will decrease. Okay. So, in case of singlet, that means if it is two electrons, it is having more repulsion. Okay. And whereas, here it is only one electron. So, this is having less repulsion. And if it is less repulsion, repulsion that means, this bond angle here this bond angles this will be larger that is here 130 to 150 degree. And if it is this repulsion is higher then this will have the smaller bond angle. So, this will have 100 to 110 degree. One interesting point is here that triplet carbines are actually 
experimentally you can prove how there is one particular technique if we do experiments always we have to go through certain uh, experimental procedures to identify whether our products or intermediates that has formed or not right so we have done some reactions let's say as for example and something we have reacted we got some products but how we are identifying them okay because after isolations of that particular reactions product we don't know whether they have formed or not so we have to take help of certain analytical techniques as per example nmr that is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy or mass spectroscopy like there are similar uh, that kind of spectroscopic methods are available to determine the structure of the compound here also for this particular triplet carbenes it can be observable by esr okay so triplet carbenes okay so triplet carbenes they are actually observable by e s r okay electron spin resonance spectroscopy okay so e s r so this is called es spectroscopy or electron spin resonance spectroscopy where if there is any unpaired electrons are available in the intermediate you can actually identify them through this particular technique okay but in case of singlet as it is paired up so you will it will not be visible or it will not be characterized by this particular technique so in this way you can actually determine which one is triplet and which one is singlet by this spectroscopy okay so even though these bent carbenes are there like triplet or singlet they have different bond angles we have learned that why these bond angles are differ okay so it depends on their number of electrons how they are actually occupying the corresponding orbitals okay next we will learn the electronic structure of these bent singlet and triplet carbene so next what we will learn we will learn the electronic structure of bent singlet and triplet carbon okay so first we will draw this bent singlet carbon that is i am just drawing like this way okay and so uh, if we draw their first they have this bonding orbitals okay next like this this one and this non bonding so we can write in general there are these two sigma bonds they are this then one non bonding sp2 orbital and one p orbital here okay empty p orbitals and in one case there is this anti bonding sigma star just a minute here yeah we have to draw like this okay okay 
So, now if we filled up the electrons as we know or we have already learned that there are total 6 valence electro electrons. So, we can fill up like this. Okay. So, this is the bent singlet carbenes. That means, here this p orbital, this is the sp 2, here the p orbitals, we have already learned this. Now, if we see its molecular orbitals, actually he, here it is like this. So, here this sp 2 orbitals, that is actually having these two electrons and they are all paired up. Similarly, if we now go for bent triplet carbene, okay. so like this, Okay. So, here also this is sp 2, this is the p orbital. Unlike uh, the singlet carbene here, both these orbitals are actually filled up with one electrons. Okay. So, now again we will uh, do this similar way. Okay. So, now again we can write like this sigma let us say this is sp 2, this is p, this is sigma star. So, if we start filling up this one electrons here, these are the all these bondings and then this sp 2 orbitals that is filled up with one electron and p orbital that is also filled up with one electron. So, this is the bent triplet carbenes and they are these orbitals are filled up in this way. So, these are their electronic structures and here actually these things guided that how they will behave. Okay. Next, these are for the bent singlet and triplet carbene. Now, if we see for linear triplet carbene, how does it look like? So, as for example, like this. So, this is the linear triplet carbene. Okay. So, it will be like this uh, as for example. So, C hydrogen and there will be two orthogonal p orbitals. Okay. So, this is the linear triplet carbene, this is the sp hybridized, these are the p orbitals. And this is the sp hybridized carbon atom. Okay. Now, if we again draw it is like that way here these two p orbitals they are similar in energy and then sigma star. So, two bonding then two p orbitals. Okay. Now, let us we fill it up. So, total 6 now they will stay like this because these two p orbitals are same in energy. Okay and as they are same in energy. So, these two electrons will occupy both of these two p orbitals. Okay. So, here we can these are the two orthogonal p orbitals occupied with two 
to electrons okay and these two electrons these two electrons remain unpaired two electrons will remain unpaired because of the electronic due to electronic repulsion okay so these kind of linear triplet carbenes rather as these two electrons they will remain unpaired so they can actually act like a di radical okay so what we have learned we have learned the electronic structure of bent as well as linear triplet carbenes okay thank you very much